Hi, Beck Mac here at UQ Art Museum. I'm having a beautiful meditative moment where I'm in this piece which is all about the way forward. It's all about water, earth, air as a digital moment. And this is, don't be evil, was that <laughs> polite enough? And I'm talking to the curator herself looking amazing in green here. Hi Anna, how are you? Hello, how are you? Lovely to have you here. This is the most extraordinary show. Like, I'm not just saying that, it's actually blowing my mind, but I'm a little bit scared because I can see this dystopian future actually becoming a reality. How do you feel about it all? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm very scared and I think we can say that the dystopian future is a reality. Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah. I saw a work before that was like, um, so the, t the prototype for transporting workers like for a, for a company, like, yeah. is this real? Yeah, that's right. So yes, the Amazon worker cage by Simon Denny um, is actually a, um, a patent that was lodged, um, you know, by Amazon yeah. for a worker to live in a cage so that they could kind of work in a sort of machinic ballet with robots oh. for their own protection, essentially. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's not like the tech, the sort of, um, some sort of imaginary dystopian future, it's, it's actually our present. Yeah. yeah. So You've been really immersed in this work. What, what was the inspiration for you to sort of take on this and, and, and sort of drive through with what you're doing here? I think the show originally was going to be about um, the tensions and binaries inherent in the internet. Yes. So, um, you know, obviously the way it brings us together, but also how it generates social division. But the more research I did, the more I began to understand the complexity of what we're actually dealing with, you know? The algorithms that have so much influence on our lizard brains. Yes. Um, you know, um, fake news and the weaponization of social media. Yeah. Um, of course, you know, Cambridge Analytica scandal that affected Brexit and the Trump campaign. Um, but more insidiously, like this new kind of reality where data is the new oil yeah. and, um, you know, surveillance, surveillance capitalism, if you like, is king. So, yeah. And you become a data baron. And I saw something about washing, emo like washing data emotion. Like, there's all these things I've already learned just for, through working through the show, which are there every day in our lives. And we almost have, we do have choice, but it feels like our participation in this digital realm is taken out of our hands now. Like, I, I, is this a call to maybe take stock of where we are right now or? Yeah, I think it very much is. I think uh, it's about really reflecting on, you know, the way that like network technologies, so smartphones, smart houses. Um, Smarter than us. <laughs> fit, Fitbits, you know, yeah. apps, the internet, everything that's networked is, has dramatically changed our world. Yeah. And the things that are sort of, um, I suppose very convenient for us, like catching an Uber or um, downloading an app, have these quite insidious um, ramifications. So yeah, I think it is about kind of examining this and sort of, um, because yeah, the impact that network technologies has had in our world is a bit like a runaway freight train. Yeah. It's happened so fast with these kind of big tech, move fast, break things, disruptors, yeah. um, that sort of society hasn't quite caught up yet. Like some kind of ancient like curse where we are given all this amazing magical um, access, but we have to give a really important part of ourselves away. Is it like that? Analogy. It's exactly like that. It's exactly right that you sign on the dotted line. You you accept the um you know the privacy policy and the fine print, and we are the product. You know we are the unpaid workers um, of these companies, and um, as our, our data and our personal information is extremely high creative work and all all our networks, our family, our friends. Exactly, oh all of those things. I know. What are we gonna do, Anna? I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> disastrous. <laughs> but quickly, let's talk about this work yeah, because yeah. this is really intriguing yeah. and it's spectacular and what it looks like. But can you just tell us briefly what this one's about? Yeah, absolutely. So this is Relax. Uh, sorry, it's a, it's a work by Kate Geck yeah. and it's called um, Defrag Pop-Up yeah. by Relax Tech. And um, Relax Tech is like a fictional kind of corporate wellness organisation. Yeah. But what it is is um, a series of guided meditations and psychic cleansings that you can experience um, via your smartphone. Wow, so that. you get your smartphone and you scan the marker yeah. and um, then you'll get so, so, sort of this amazing magical AR layer that pops up. Wow. And then you can do a guided meditation to recover from network fatigue <laughs> or social media anxiety. Yeah. yeah. I, I had a friend who actually did it before and he actually loved it and he actually learned something from it. He came back quite enlightened. So it's very recuperative. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I think this show 
has something for everyone on so many levels, even just from the mere sensory um, participation you have, but there's really deep, meaningful, important things that are being discussed and described here. So congratulations. What a great show. Thanks for bringing it together. And welcome to UQ Art Museum. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Lovely to have you here. Cheers. Thank you.